Hello, it's Silmordas. Some of you have uh, requested more videos and updates in general, and I thought it would be nice to show you guys how I'm prepping for shoots such as this one. So now's your chance to see exactly how it's done. <laughs> What, what are we gonna do today, Rene? Yeah. <laughs> Which switch do you? We are on our way to gather materials for the shoot. Not just any materials. Shiny, transparent material. The concept is very simple. You take an idea, you figure out how you're going to make it, and then you work with what you have. There is no real recipe on how to make a very successful shoot, not in my opinion. You just go with the flow, and you hope it works out just like you envisioned it. Our first stop was at the recycling room to gather glass bottles that was going to be used for the shoot. I've never worked with glass before, so I didn't exactly know where to get them. But the recycling room seems a perfect place for such things. I realize it's kinda weird, but weird is my thing. Before I could break and paint the glass, I had to remove the stickers and decals from the bottles. But instead of trying to get them off by hand, I had the brilliant but crazy idea to put them all in a plastic bag full of water and leave it overnight. This probably could have been done in a better way, but I was out of ideas and was just, you know, I had to get it done. Besides, it was pretty entertaining. Since I didn't want the glass to be entirely transparent, I had to paint them somehow. And for that, I used black spray paint for um, industrial purposes. <laughs> and that concludes day one of the preparation shoot. There were several other things to gather, such as makeup and ball cap, but I left them out because this video is long enough already. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, comment and all that shit. And I hope to see you for day two. Peace out. Hope to see you tomorrow.